Welcome to Ambrose Manor. We were not expecting company. Please follow. Do not stray from the path. Yeah, we'll see about that. You gotta admit, that was kind of funny. <laughs> and there, little guy. And responses. How clumsy of this unit. Wow, Ambrose Manor. Hey, do you think it's haunted? I bet it's haunted. Keep your guard up. Could be all manner of surprises in there. I take it back. Ain't nothing here but memories. This place looks kind of sad. Like it's been waiting for someone to make a home out of it. So who the devil are you? You don't say. <laughs> well, make yourself at home, Captain. I'm sure we have much to discuss. Do you see that glowing chunk of space rock? That's Gorgon. My birthright, my burden, and the bane of my existence. I hate to drink alone, and this is my third. So join me in raising a glass. To Gorgon. To Gorgon. May cosmic winds shepherd her to the nearest star. I'm Wilhelmina Ambrose. But you can keep it short and call me Minnie. Nice to meet you too. Wow. Now what brings you to my house, Gorgeous? I take it you didn't come all this way for the beverages, the starry skies, or the pleasant company. A severed arm! How positively ghoulish! You know this is a private residence, not a curio shop. Lucky Montoya is my personal freelancer. Fascinating man. Very brooding and theatrical. Always staring into space and twirling a bullet over his knuckles. I could do that. The staring into space part, I mean. I'm still working on the bullet twirling thing. But if something happened to him... Oh dear. I suppose that makes him my former freelancer now? Thank you. But the people in my orbit come and go all the time. Occupational hazard. What a time for his luck to run out. We were in the middle of something grand, and I really can't afford another setback. Excellent deduction. I can tell I found the right woman for the job. How would you like to be my new freelancer? There's been a recent vacancy, and I think you're well suited to the job. I could get used to people offering us a job at first glance. Usually they just squint at us all suspicious-like. Or reach for a pistol. You're awful quick to trust a bunch of strangers that broke into your home. I'm looking for someone rough around the edges. A gorgeous, dashing scoundrel type. Incidentally, someone good with their hands. I like my employees well-groomed. Appearances are everything in high society. My mother, Dr. Olivia Ambrose, worked for Spacer's Choice at the Gorgon Research Facility. She was brilliant, the top scientist in her field, until tragedy struck. One day, Spacer's Choice shut down all research and evacuated Gorgon. Everyone had to scramble or risk getting left behind. It was chaos. Employees fled for their lives. 
mother never made it home. I'm told she wasn't the only casualty that fateful day. Mother's name has since been dragged through the mud. Spacer's Choice blames her for the collapse of Project Gorgon, and I just know they're lying. Whatever happened on Gorgon wasn't Mother's fault. I simply need the evidence to prove it. We're going to drag the truth, kicking and screaming into the light. Even if it means bringing ruin and humiliation to Spacer's choice. All the evidence I need should be in Mother's journal. You can find it in her office on Gorgon, in the heart of the old research facility. I believe you're the first person to ever side with me against the Corporation. It's a refreshing change. When you reach Gorgon, pack a weapon you trust. A corporate lockdown hasn't stopped the wilderness from squirming in through the cracks. There's a little saloon near Gorgon's landing pad, the Sprat Shack. Lucky was renting a room, so if you want to follow his trail, that would be the place to start. The Sprat Shack? Hope they don't serve real Sprats. There's a Sprat worse place than the Groundbreaker. Tried it once, and I was sick for a week. Well, to stop in and taste the local flavor. Just so we understand each other, money is no object. I'm willing to squander the family fortune if you get me what I want. Between your payment and any salvage you happen across, You'll walk away from this rich enough to buy a mansion of your own. How does that sound? A consummate professional? That shouldn't be a problem. Here's your nav key, Captain. Safe travels. A word of advice before you go, Captain. Trust. No one. Mother's office is in the heart of the Gorgon facility. You're free to salvage anything that isn't nailed down. I only want what's mine. Salvage rights and a paycheck? This is almost too good to be true. Hey boss, what's our policy on getting to know our clients a little better? You think she'd appreciate some company? All right, I can do this. Here goes. Miss Ambrose? Must get awful lonesome up here all by yourself. What do you do for fun? Cause uh, if you're interested, I've got the full set of Terror on Monarch. The last thing I need in my life is more corporate propaganda masquerading as entertainment. He is? Oh dear. It's been a while and I'm out of practice. <clears throat> you seem very nice, and very pretty, and I'm sure there's a wealthy heiress out there who'd be extremely lucky to run away with you. Alas, it isn't me. Are we in agreement? Hey, no problem. I figured it was worth a shot at least.
Well, here we... Hey, is that a saloon? I feel better already. Come here. Let's have a chat. All right, inspection time. Look at my eyes for as long as you can without blinking. Starting now. Good. Look up. Now look down. You're doing swell. Now, name and occupation. Good enough for me. You're cleared to pass. That was a sanity check. If you had changed like the others, it'd be in your eyes. You'd also be drooling, cursing, and making a mess of the place. Welcome to the Sprat Shack. You can head on downstairs. Every day, salvagers and scrappers set out to comb the ruins and make their fortune. The ones who come back... They aren't always the same men or women who left. They change. Never for the better. First they get real twitchy and paranoid, shouting at folks who aren't there. Then they smell like they soiled themselves, on account of how they soiled themselves. After that, they're gone. Nothing but animals wearing human skin. Seen it happen myself. It's never pretty. If you're heading downstairs, order something sweet. Oh, ugh. I smells like Felix's burp. Been an age since I had a good trip of kale. Hope they've got it on tap.
Welcome to the Sprat Shack. First one's on the house, and I won't even water it down. Will it be? Bottoms up. I assume you're here for salvage. Most of my regulars are sublight scavengers. They pick over the ruins of Gorgon, spend their earnings at the bar, and uh, head back out the next day. Vicious cycle, but that's life. You're the first new face I've seen in a while. Lucky. Sure, I knew him. He could get a little dramatic at times, but he was a good guy. Heard he took on a dangerous job. Spent a lot of time coming and going from the Office of Creative Incubation, just down the road. The way he talked about the job, you just knew Lucky had hit pay dirt. Not that I was jealous. Around here, that sort of luck can be uh, hazardous to your health. Uh, awful shame about what happened to him. Third floor. Once I figured he wasn't coming back to pay his tab, I left his room unlocked to air it out. You can help yourself to anything you left behind. Fair warning, I've been letting the regulars use it for a quick lie down. Just wash your hands when you're done. Trust me. Come back when you're thirsty. Humbug, Trixie, and worse. Do you uh, think the folks here like strangers? Because some of them are looking at us like maybe not. The repurposed aesthetic reminds me of Fallbrook. These sublight folks really know how to overhaul a place. Found some in an old busted crate. We've just gotta take some drug you found in the garbage. <laughs> I hope this ain't a sign of things to come. So, how you feeling? Good. I've eaten my fair share of terrorize, but I'm still gonna come out and say it. This mission is gross. You think this place we're headed will tell us more about Gorgon? I'm Wonder what they got up to here.
keep an eye out, Captain. This place don't look entirely safe. Nicely done. This unit is currently in wait cycle. Please return later. Error. Tilt alarm engaged. Entering emergency reconciliation mode. This unit will now engage. Oh. Calamity. Protocol. This unit is currently in wait cycle. Please return later. Have a better than natural day. Manosaurs with them? What the hell's wrong with these people? I got your back, Captain. Ain't a single mantisaur gonna sneak up on us.
initiating ocular measurement. Measurement complete. Ocular identification complete. Welcome, Clarence Mostly. Access granted. Welcome to the Office of Creative Incubation.